The left knows that free speech is the biggest threat to its plans to control everything, starting with the White House in a year. So they're doing whatever they can to suppress speech. This is true even on, brace yourself, knitting websites. Ravelry is a social networking site dedicated to knitting. It's got more than 8 million members, most of them probably reasonable, decent people. This week, though, the, com the company banned users from expressing any support for the president of the United States. Their point is the position of 63 million American voters is, quote, white supremacy. If the ban works and conservatives do nothing, which is basically what they always do, nothing, expect other websites to do exactly the same thing and your freedom to erode a little bit more. Melissa Francis, co-host Outnumbered, as well as After the Bell on Fox Business, one of the smartest people in the building, and she joins us tonight. Melissa, are you on this website, Revelry? Um, Ravelry? No so so I, I don't even get the pun because I know nothing about knitting. So that part of it is sort of lost <laughs> on me. Either. But 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 I did go and check the whole thing out and, and it's right up there on the front of their website. It says it's this is done in the spirit of inclusiveness. That's how it starts. They're including people. That's why they're doing this. It says we cannot provide a space that is inclusive of all and also allow support for open white supremacy. And you're like, okay, if you want to make people feel at home and good about their knitting, you can't have open white supremacy. But but then the next line, it says support of the Trump administration is undeniably support for white supremacy. Huh. So half of America now are white suprem undeniably white supremacists. Then they hedge a little bit and they say you can still participate. You just can't talk about it here. And you're like, OK, I, I, I'm, I'm so confused by this policy. I must dig deeper. And it begs an obvious question. What could have possibly led to this? Was there some huge incident? I mean, I haven't seen a lot of crocheted MAGA hats around. I, mean, I don't see a lot of mufflers that say, you know, keep America great. Haven't seen these things. So I called and I emailed and we've been trying to get in contact. So has the New York Times. So has everybody else who's written about this. And I've read every article. There are no quotes from this company anywhere. And there is no indication of any incident that brought this about. So you think to yourself, hmm. I hope this isn't like a Jesse Smollett type situation where they're just trying to draw attention to themselves and get national media attention by putting up this policy on their website. Well, they're not coming out and telling us about anything that happened and there's no evidence of it anywhere. So I have to wonder if it's just brilliant marketing. When you go to their Twitter page, it has a Black Lives Matter sign on the top um, and they obviously have a political leaning. And maybe they know their customer well. I mean, I may be cynical, but maybe they know their customer well, and that's what they're after. PR. There you go. Well, I know a lot of knitters. I don't know any yeah. of them who are radical. I mean, politicizing everything has a cost after a while, does it not? We can't have nice things anymore, Tucker. <laughs> Good point. Melissa Francis, you're the best. Great to see you.